Hello and welcome to the fifth and final tutorial for this MP3 speaker scheme of work. In front of you can see the completed products, completed assembly, uh, what we're going to go through in today's video. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimise that. And I'm going to go ahead and open a new assembly file, which is a standard millimetres dot IAM. Let's maximise the screen. And the first thing I want to do is place the casing that we created in the first video just by clicking down in the middle and then exiting the tool. So now I need another component so that I can constrain them together. So I'll place in the component holder that we made in the second video. Okay, so I can just place that anywhere around. It wants me to place two, but I only need one, so I can escape that. And then what I'm going to do is get the constraint tool and I'm going to constrain the bottom here to the top here. And it's snapped in green so I can apply that. The next thing I want to do is snap that edge to that face there. So that's gone in nicely. Apply that. And then I'm going to need to zoom in for this. But I'm going to want to snap that face to that face. Apply. You can see that that's, after three constraints, that's fitting perfectly into the casing. So you can cancel close that. So we need the next components. So we're going to place in uh, the speakers. They come as part of the resource pack, so they'll be in your lesson folders. So I'm just going to click twice, because um, we need two, and then I can escape. And again, I'm going to constrain, but this time I'm going to use the insert constraint, and I'm just going to click right on the bottom edge of the speaker to the inside edge of the holes. Okay, and if I just click there, press apply, and do exactly the same to this speaker. You can see that they're both sat in perfectly inside the holes that were created in the component holder. Okay, so the next part we need that again comes as part of your resource pack, PTB board. Um, so if I open that, and again, if I just place that somewhere near where it needs to be, press escape, you can just move it around. What I'm going to do is constrain the bottom here to there again. I'm going to apply, zoom in, so you can see better, and same again. I want this edge, to this edge, I can apply, then I want this edge here to that edge there, apply. You can see the PC below board fits in perfect and the holes are aligned and you can see we've got access there to the on off switch and the power okay so we've got two more components left so this time we're going to place in the grill that we made in the third video so open this again just place it somewhere where you need it to be press escape because we only need one and again I'm just going to constrain bottom here onto the ridge. So you can zoom in. I can't select that, just zoom in. There we go. And they've snapped in again so I can apply. And then again. I need to zoom in. Again. And I want this edge. that edge and apply and last but not least this edge and that edge there if I apply there close the tool you can see we're nearly there we've nearly got a completed product we're just missing the volume it all sits in really flush perfectly so you use the right dimensions so last but not least we're going to place in the volume if I just open the volume control, I just place that somewhere above where I know it needs to be. 
press escape and all I'm going to do for this is again use the insert tool and I'm just going to select that outside edge there and that edge there and you can see it's just locked in place so I can close that and you can see there that I've got fully constructed assembly of all the components that we've made throughout these video, shoot, video tutorials so if I just set a nice view I can change the perspective you can see a really nice view there another thing that you can do just quickly is you can right click on any of the components and you can turn them off so you can unclick the visibility and you can see what's going on inside your parts so you can see that all the components are really flush the speakers are nice and flush inside them holes and there's a bit of space a bit of a gap between the speakers and the grill um, so you can see everything fits in there perfectly that's everything thanks for listening to the tutorials